All right, Burroughs, we're back this week with another Burrow Builds. This week we've got that 1973 F100 trophy truck from Camberg Racing. These guys are taking one of their trophy truck platforms from the Kinetic Trucks and are putting an F100 cab on it, and it's going to be available for you to buy. So this will be a fully street legal insured trophy truck you can close the cab and put air whatever you want so let's take a look thanks uh jerry for showing us around california we're checking out the latest burrow bill so it's a 1973 f100 cab this is one of our mig welded platforms that's extremely similar to our kinetic trophy trucks here so this is one of our trophy trucks it's raced a 6100 truck that's now in the trophy truck class. This is Twisted Monkey's race truck. As you see, the front shock mounts, the tubes, the downs, everything here, it's all exactly the same. The difference that we've done on this truck here is we've made the shock mounts, we push them forward a little bit so we can fit a bigger shock, which works really well on a free runner on here. So air bump position, shock mounts, we've got engine crossbar. We make this tube removable, so when you have the sheet metal, you can pull the engine out from the front. Um, door bars, as you see on this truck, uh, even internally, which you'll see in a minute, all the center, the tube work, everything in the middle is pretty much exactly that truck. A little bit modernized, we made a little bit more space if you wanted to run like a manual gearbox from X-Track or Albins, that'll also fit. Uh, made a little bit more room in there. Uh, on this truck, you guys probably know the retro runner that's Jason Campbell's son's truck, Cody Campbell. He has the green F100 with the white fenders, bitch and street truck. Uh, we scanned this truck with Craig Hall at Hall Designs, so we have all the fender placement, cab placement, and everything. And that's where this cab's sitting to match what his truck is. It's going to look exactly like that, but actually be a trophy truck underneath. That's what we want. We want to be rowdy. So this truck's going to run a Maruzi. 442 cubic inch LS based engine with a dark lock and have tons of power and be fun. Um, everything in the truck will be aluminum paneled on this truck because if we do crash the truck, which we probably will at some point, we just yank off the cab, drop on a new cab, and we're ready to go. So all the aluminum floor, everything will be the same as the kinetic trophy trucks, but in this truck. We did make the door bars a little lower as you see these door tubes. Because you'll be able to open up the door and walk in, you know, get in the truck. You don't have to climb in a window or anything. Um, the back of the truck, you see this uh, jig fixture here. We're making a whole rear cell for this truck because you can place this in distance to the front. So if you run a 48-inch links, that could go a little farther forward. A 55-inch links or a 60-inch links will bring this backwards. So. If you're running an extra cab or a crew cab or whatever you want to put this under, uh, that'll be adjustable. The whole fuel cell basket we're doing will also incorporate this tube right here in the design of the rear fuel basket. So you'll be able to run our 24 inch kinetic sway bar links. We'll have the sway bar. Everything's the same as all of this. We're just going big welding to get the cost down, beefing up the material thickness, plenty strong going to work awesome and this whole platform we're doing which includes links, A-arms, Heinz, Uniballs, all your NAS mil spec bolts, all your A-arms, links, billet hubs, or end house, everything will be about $40,000. Then we'll offer the fuel cell from Pyrotech, we'll have the sway bars and the links and all the parts and stuff to be able to just buy it. So right now we have a couple deposits. We have guys building 68 Ford Bronco free runners. They're just going to keep them convertible, split the cab, widen it up, do some sheet metal in the middle, and run it as a convertible and have a badass truck. Um, talking to some guys right now doing some more modern cab trucks uh, because they're down in Mexico where, they're, where there's no smog. Um, that's why we chose the 73 up 100 here is because you don't have to smog check these vehicles. Not that we're using it as a street vehicle, but it will run a license plate on it. Um, our plans on this truck is we want to race Nora, we want to race the Baja 1000. We just want to go out and have some fun, do a lot of the local uh, more and snore races and whatnot. And uh, just race something that's not as expensive as that. You don't have to worry about it as much. You know, it's still not cheap, but it's not $300,000. 
you know, a truck like this, someone can build in their garage for eighty to hundred thousand dollars using their own parts, and they have the fabrication skill, obviously. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to get it out there. Can't wait to do another video for all you guys, and uh, you know, take it to Glamis, have some fun, whatever. Uh, definitely going to be pretty cool when it's done. Cars and coffee. I think it'll be the coolest thing in the parking lot next to a bunch of fancy cars. Leave a comment. Let us know what you guys think. If you have any questions, check us out at Camberg Racing. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, at Camberg Racing. Thanks for watching. <laughs>